Welcome back. Um, this is a quick little video regarding an issue that just came up with a client that I had to sort of solve and I thought I would share if anybody else is having this trouble. So what we're going through quickly an overview is how to edit website content using the cPanel versus front end or using the WordPress back end. So we'll use the real back end back end. Um, our situation is that we have a builder we're using, WP Bakery, and the builder has not been authenticated and we can't find a way to authenticate it, so we're making content updates without using WordPress. So whatever your situation might be, um, if you find yourself needing to make edits and you can't or you're blocked out or you can't figure out how to use the theme or etc., issue, 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 this is a good starting place for you. So we need to access your cPanel, which is just a brand term for control panel, if you haven't heard of it before. But one way to access that, depending on if you um, have access or not, is to type in your domain name followed by a semicolon or whatever that one is, the two dots. <laughs> is it a colon, semicolon? Um, followed by 2083. And once you get 2083, that'll bring you to your cPanel where you have the opportunity to log in. If you do not have cPanel login, or you need to reset it or something, there's always another way. So depending on what your registrar is, it's going to be GoDaddy or Network Solutions or HostGator or Bluehost or something. Um, for the, in this case, we're using a small orange. And probably, likely, the best way to access is you're just going to want to navigate to your domains and whatever registrar you're using. Um, apologies, we're going to go to services because this isn't actually our registrar, it's just our host, but nonetheless, wherever it's being hosted, you'll be able to figure it out. Navigate to the domain that you are trying to work with. That's not what I meant to do. There we go. Man. Okay, and for small orange, we just have login to cPanel down here, but depending on what your registrar has um, or your host, you'll find it somewhere. And if you can't, just Google how to access cPanel via GoDaddy or whatever. Um, that'll take you into your cPanel. So for WordPress sites, this is how it's going to look for most of us. We're going to go navigate to the top left here under File Manager. And pretty much everybody's going to look the same way. So I'm going to close all this out. And over on our left-hand side here, we'll open up just the main server. And we're going to navigate to the public HTML. Inside of this public HTML, that is essentially all of the content underneath this site that's you know it's it's the html content the content that's being read so specifically we want to get into the wp content our wordpress content and i need to move my little face somewhere else there we go um, and it depends what you're trying to do so for more basic stuff generally speaking it's going to be inside of your themes so whatever you set yours up on again ours is set up with wp bakery and the custom theme we created is down here under west me think so yours will look different but let's just go back a step. You're probably gonna wanna navigate into, for sure, WP content, and then likely into themes um, is gonna be where most of your edits are gonna happen, or most of your content is gonna be stored. So inside of this theme, we've got a little bit of a breakdown. Each theme is set up different, so yours will look different than this. But from here, we can sort of start to search. So specifically, what we're trying to edit is a phone number, and there's certain ways that we could find that. I know already that the phone number is in the footer, but for you, I mean, I don't want to get too complicated with it, but you need to find a way to navigate or to, to, to locate the actual content that you're going to be changing. So I'm on a Mac. If you're not on a Mac, it's, it's the same, but different words. A right click down to expect, inspect, and for a PC, it might be dev tools or something. And we'll open that up. And for me, I want to just scroll all the way down here and there's this button right up here on the top left of our development tools. And we take that button, we can highlight certain elements and we can locate them. So here, I'm gonna highlight that phone number and click it. And that brings it up for me as a link underneath an unorganized, or a list underneath an unorganized list. Um, and there is our href for the telephone number and that's the content that we wanna be editing. So for me, I know that this is underneath the footer widget. So that footer widget is gonna be what we're editing. And that's for me. For you, if it was, you know, say you wanted to change this title right here, same thing, we'd highlight it, go hover over it and see where we're at. 
and it would be inside of this WPB wrapper moving forward. It's inside of the WPB column. It's just gonna be different, but essentially the, the class above, what you want is basically what you're looking for. So I'll go back to our phone number, just cause that's what we need to be editing. Click on this guy again, and just as a reminder, we're on an unorganized list inside of the footer widget. So we need to be editing the footer content. So let's go back to the cPanel file manager. And again, we're inside of Westmeath here, and we can search for it is one option. So I'll just throw in footer up here in the top because that's the overall, um, that's the overarching file that it's getting its, its information from. So whatever yours might be, might be, you know, it, whatever yours might be, if it's the nav bar header or hero one or hero section or whatever it might be, whatever your top level is, that's what we're searching for. So for me, we have a few options here and I'm gonna close this actually and search one more time because we wanna limit this to our current directory for the search instead. So you can search whatever you're looking for. And then likely that PHP is exactly what we're gonna need. And so I'm just gonna double click, it'll take us to that file. And then once we're in here, there we are with our footer PHP is what I'm looking for. You might be looking for front page PHP or something else, but for me, you know, Again, leave comments, send me an email. If I can help, I'd love to help, but um, if it's a more specific problem, but hopefully this gives you an idea. So inside of here, we're gonna now right click whatever PHP file you wanna be editing, or maybe it's an HTML file, but probably PHP. Um, and we're gonna right click into edit, open as a UTF-8, that's fine. And then we're gonna scroll down. So if you're not familiar with, uh, this is just pretty standard HTML here. And, you know, another quick way to do it is obviously there's the phone right there. We're, we're going to be editing, but, you know, if it was really long, Command F on Mac, and then you can search phone that way. So now that I'm in here, I'll just reference the site over here, 303-506-2084, and we just need this to be a 720. So we're just changing the first three numbers, and then look how quick, save changes, boom, or... <laughs> one refresh and then boom. There we go, 720-506-2084. So that's all that is. Um, more specifically, if you're editing things that are inside of a plugin, like forms or sliders or anything like that, it's possible underneath WordPress content over here. You might be under plugins and you might find some edits under there, um, but more than likely it's gonna be inside of themes so you have to do a little bit of research. And then there's also an opportunity, you know, I'll, I'll leave this, you know, end the video here if this was helpful, but if you're still struggling and looking for um, a way to find the content, like you can't inspect it and you can't find wh what folder it's in, which is a common problem. What we can do, what I've already created earlier, just, um, for other reasons, is all the way inside of our home or our, our main server here, and then we'll navigate to public HTML again, and then we're gonna create a new PHP file, name it whatever you want, .php, so it's just file.php, and mine's actually gonna be called phone.php. So once you create that new file, I've already got it set down here, open it up and edit it, and then this code right here you know, pause, pause here and, and copy that out. But essentially what you're going to do is copy this code and this little thing right here, this is the change me section. So now if I want to search for that specific phone number, I'll just put in the 720, save those changes. So this PHP file exists. Then we're gonna to go to our domain slash whatever your PHP was. Um, so if you named it, you know, anything else, it's just, domain slash file name, so phone slash PHP. Once we run that, it's gonna come back with a bunch of stuff, and this is too much, things that I don't need. So that 720 is not specific enough for a search term. So I'm bringing it back to our phone PHP, and we'll do 720 dot, um, what was the other number? 506. So save that out, come back to our PHP, plus URL right here. Refresh it one more time, and there we go. 
So this command for this phone number is buried inside of WordPress content themes west me think footer.php, which is obviously where we edited it, was the footer PHP. Let's just give one more example. If you wanted to be editing just on this page, say even if it was, you know, we'll say it was this header, experience matters. So what I'll do is again go back into our phone PHP and we will put in an experience matters save that out and then we can refresh this search okay so that was a bad search uh, let's see if the dash changed it nope well let's do one more search or one more inspection here experience matters dot let's let's see I don't uh, I'm surprised so it changes okay this is giving us way too much again I'm trying to navigate through it however nope So let's do that again. Experience matters. And you know, I should probably just end this video because I think one example was enough, but yeah, so I'm not getting a good search for that term. Mm, anyway, could run other examples, but we'll just kind of go back to, you know, what we were doing before. You know, you've already seen this, but just proof of concept. Oh goodness, I got the number wrong again 506 silly boy anyway so let me just clarify one more time if I can get this up save changes refresh 506 so anyway when you're trying to locate content that is you know gonna tell you exactly where it is so for me it's the footer PHP and then you can go back to your file manager and like I had just done search footer and we know that coming up for footer PHP is where we need to be and double click this guy brings you where we were a second ago and that's how we can edit so there you go there's a little breakdown as always if there's questions um, comment email whatever contact me one way or another and I'll help you out if I can hopefully this was helpful to one person until next time thanks